Ok, so let's start the live stream. So bonjour, bonjour, everyone. And a big thank you for you for being live with me today. And the topic for us today is casual chic at home. So for those of you who are having questions, if you could type the word question in capital letters before your questions, you would type question and then your question in your comments because as there are many of you, the comments fly up very, very quickly. So in order for me to see the questions, please write the word question in capital letters. I can see it really, really from far away. So... To start with, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing. <laughs> so uh, just a normal white tank top, a strap shirt, brown belt, pair of jeans, and um, kind of light beige trainers. Okay, so why is Marianne showing us what she's wearing today? So because... I want us to talk about what is casual chic, what is um, being chic at home, because we have seen so many, and especially during the uh, what we call the confinement, the stay-at-home thing during um, uh, COVID, that people were equating being comfortable with, in my view, being frumpy. There was a lot of frumpiness going on. People were in pyjamas. Can you even believe it? Um, people were wearing um, frumpy clothes, um, jock pants, uh, hoodies, sweatshirt, that kind of thing. And um, that is not chic. Uh, that may be casual, but that is casual. And that is not frumpy. So I wanted you to see the difference. I mean, you know, you can be very comfortable at home without looking frumpy. So let me know if, you know, or let me know what is your idea of being comfortable and um, chic or frumpy. Do you agree with my position on that, that you can be comfortable but chic? So we're looking, uh, we're talking about home. So at home, we need to feel comfortable because we're going to be moving around. We may be doing some cooking, maybe doing some housework. Um, and of course, high heels, um, tight skirts, um, sink blouses, that kind of thing. We must certainly be a uh, no, no, a no, no, because uh, it might be getting stained, that kind of thing. And certainly on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't wear my silk blouses or my high heels like this. But, you know, when you wear something, so I wanted to show you the most basic, the most basic, again, this is my most basic outfit that you can wear. It is comfortable. Um, I'm wearing a shirt. The shirt, you can button it up. You can tuck it in. You can put a jacket on. You have to go out, my ladies. Um, yes, this is my Christmas present. I still got that. <laughs> I still got the label. You put a blazer on. You can put on another blazer over the top. You are cold. You can put a cardigan over the top. You can put on... Um, A sweater over the top. You can put on a trench coat if you go out quickly for errands. I mean, I'm wearing those trainers. You can see they are kind of um, lean, you know, leaner than those huge things with a thick sole. They're very lean in design, lean in coloring. Excuse me. It could be your slippers. Usually I wear slippers. I don't wear uh, trainers, sneakers. At home, I wear slippers. Um, slippers. But change your shoes, put something uh, nice on, some boots, some shoes, and you're at the door. And um, 
you know, if you're frumpy wearing jock pants and all sorts, do you go out like that or do you have to change? If you have well, wearing something really basic like this, you know, as I said, I showed you what you what you can put on top and here you go, a little scarf or something. But um, if you are already frumpy, you have to get changed. Or really worse is to um, go in, out in your jock, jock pants and stuff like that. But um, unless you're going to the gym, that's um, that's not a day wear, as we know. But um, there's no, for me, um, I mean, I'm, I'm 60 now. I was 60 end of August. Um, I've had young children, and I, I was, and I was comfortable, but I, I don't think I ever look frumpy. And um, if you look frumpy, you feel frumpy inside. You don't feel great. You know, you catch yourself in the mirror, and you see this frumpy lady looking at you. And you know, from outside in, inside out, you see the style what you are wearing, and it's has a bearing on how you feel. Um, and all that goes down, goes down, and, you know. So we can be comfortable, all that to say we can be comfortable while not looking frumpy. And I'm wearing really something the most basic, because I wanted to show you that. I could have put, um, you know, a pair of wool trousers. I could have put something else on, a nice little sweater, a nice shirt. But I wanted to show you that even with the most basic outfit, you didn't, you know, you don't have to look frumpy. So let's see if we have any questions or command. That's from, from A. Williams. Nice, comfortable at home outfit. Thank you. Uh, from Ziggy, time to up my casual look at home. From robbing people are sometimes just lazy, you don't want to make any effort. Well, that's again, that's 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 the thing. You just lazy, you don't want to make any effort, and you know, people around you can see you don't want to make any get any effort. But why don't you want to make any effort on yourself? You know, we are important. Our family around us are important. Let's make an effort to um, you know, it's it's being um well dressed, and by that I don't mean being well dressed. I don't, I don't mean you know wearing, you know Chanel suit all day. It's, it's, it's almost impossible, but at least looking presentable um, to other people around. But not just that. I mean, just for yourself. I mean, when I'm, when I, you know, when I say you know look presentable, it's first and foremost to yourself. That it, it does matter. You know, when you go to work, you, you probably get dressed for, you know, for, for the dress code and for the people, for clients and stuff like that. But, you know, when you're at home, you dress for yourself. So if you don't make any effort, you don't make any effort for yourself. From Elmo, just in front of me, makes you feel front of me even at home. Exactly. Um... Caroline, guilty of confusing frumpy with comfortable. Well, exactly. I mean, a pair of jeans is comfortable. I mean, everybody wears jeans now. Excuse me. And um, it is so easy. A pair of jeans. I mean, if I, if I remove, you know, if I change from that and that, and I put a lovely uh, cashmere sweater, nice shirt underneath, or a nice little foulard, a scarf, I can still wear my pair of jeans. If I wear a pair, a nice pair of shoes, I will look nice. It would be of a pair of jeans, but elevated, you know? Oh, Elsa, cashmere, turtleneck, jeans, loafers, and my uniform. Oh, that's fantastic. That's, that's very French as well. Oh. Um. And William says, I agree, looking frumpy makes it feel even worse. It has a negative impact. Exactly. Love that shirt. I've been searching for one in the US. I love striped shirt. I have many striped items. And I wear most of all striped, blue striped as opposed to white. All white doesn't really, it's not the most flattering on me. And I prefer myself in blue. 
um, structured. Uh, from Voltura, do we wear jewelry at home to be chic? Which kind? Yes, wear jewelry. I usually wear earrings and chain, or sometimes just uh, earrings. It depends on what I wear. But 99% um, of the time, I wear pearl studs. And that you don't have to think about it. It is easy, it goes with everything, and it looks beautiful. <laughs> um, Rona, comfort to me, the soft wool sweater, jeans, and loafers. Perfect. And it, you see, it can be nice. It is very casual, but it's not frumpy. And it is casual chic. Carolyn, comfortable matching lounge set, not frumpy set. Always add minimal jewelry and fix my haven at home. Exactly. Um, from Karen, going out, what you're wearing is my go-to outfit. And I especially enjoy wearing a nice blazer for out, go doing errands or shopping. Perfect. You just grab your blazer. Uh, it, a blazer or a nice jacket is so much more elevating than a denim jacket. I hear a lot in the summer and spring, I have a denim jacket. That's really elevating. You know, you have... Um, other jacket that can elevate a really casual outfit. Because if you wear already a casual outfit and you put a denim jacket on top, it's very casual, casual, casual. Nothing is elevated. Just by changing the jacket makes a huge, huge difference. Um, from Ziggy, home casual is black tights, T-shirt and cardigan. It covers my derriere and Vivaya flats. Okay. Season, I always have to change to leave the house because I'm always doing bits of housework when I'm at home. Well, yes, um, but we can wear an apron. Um, we can take something off like this and put like a normal sweater. You don't mind being um, stained or whatever, or your sleeves wet or something. Um, to do the housework. I'm very busy this morning. I was in the fields, uh, in the horse field with my husband. He was cutting a, you know, a few big branches, almost trees that were brought down with a storm. And I was pulling the branches and doing this, doing that, and looking after the animals um, and helping him with the wood. And I'm very busy as well, but I have overall, uh, not overalls, um, what they called, um, Rain, I've uh, got the raincoat, um, well, rainwear, we call it, and my uh, my Wellington boots, gloves, and a woolly hat. And I was outside, I was outside um, two or three hours this morning in the wind and everything. And, um, you know, I come back and I'm wearing that. I'm not going to continue wearing my, you know, the clothes I wear to go in the field or anything like that, or to continue wearing my riding clothes, horse riding clothes, for instance, or, you know, um, so I like to be comfortable, but, uh, you know, at home, I still like to be presentable. Um, from lady, lady, I have clothes I wear in the house, and if I'm going out, I change. Um, oh, one knee, it's true, I get dressed every day, even wear fragrance, I work from home since my mild stroke. So sorry you had a stroke, Owani. I hope you're getting better. I wish you the best. Uh, Robin, I wore a simple tank top jacket and black slacks with heels for Christmas dinner. Many compliments. I felt great. To confidence and pride in your wardrobe. Exactly. The confidence, pride, also self-respect. It's as it is very important, and I'm and I'm and respect for others. Um, I think a lot of this is is getting lost. Um, what's happening at the moment? Uh, <laughs> from Charlie, I wish I could wear a trench coat, but just can't get past the ima image of Inspector Gadget or Colombo. <laughs> that is funny. Um, Donna is at home with COVID. Donna, we wish you the best. Have a good rest, and I hope you feel better soon. Robin, keep it simple even at home. Yes, keep it simple is one of the three pillars of French chic. 
So the three pillars of friendship are keep it simple, less is more, and quality, not quantity. Um, Marlene has a question. Are there comfortable earrings when your ears are not pierced? Um, but I always find, before I have my ears pierced, I always find that some clips, you know, I used to wear clips in the 80s and 90s, very much um, Princess Diana in those days, you know, those big, big plastic ones, uh, <laughs> white. And, um, but after, after a couple of hours, you know, they, they kind of pinch your ears and they really, um, they hurt. I don't know what they do now because I wear only pierced, but maybe it's good to try things. Um, no, a coordinate set on a nice apron, Gretchen's Jackson. I wear an apron. I mean, you know, I have a number of aprons. Probably take that from my mum. My mum always wore an apron for the housework and for um, cooking. And in France, what they used to do, and, um, um, not so much now, I haven't seen that as, you know, much, but they used to wear the, I don't know if it's, it's they don't call it an apron, but um, it's in blues, we call it in France. We used to call it in blues. It's, uh, it was a kind of a, a dress with sleeves, with buttons at the front that you used to wear over your normal clothes to do your, your chores, your housework and everything. And if you went out or if somebody came at the door, you removed it so you had your, your clothes underneath so that you did never got dirty. Um. Elsa, uh, throwing on my camel hair blazer. If I run for an errand and I feel like one million dollars, I will be buried in that blazer. <laughs> uh, Susan, Vivian Westwood, if ever in that dress up, you will be so disappointed. No, oh, you will be no disappointed, I think you may say, unless I've, I've read you wrong. Uh, Karen, self-respect and the respect of those around you, the channel taught me this. Thank you very much, Karen. And this is so true, so true. And, you know, we can't change the world if we do not change ourselves. So if you want people to respect you, you have to respect yourself first and then you respect people. And I think it all comes, we'll all reverberate something, some good, um, some type of energy. So, you know, let's start with ourselves and then... If we're lucky, we may change people around us. So if we dress nicely, maybe, you know, around us, people will see us well-dressed and maybe they will wear, they will get well-dressed as well. And that's really lovely. It's like when you when you smile, <laughs> you know, the, that, that saying, if you smile, the world smiles with you. The world smiles with you. But it's so true. You know, you start smiling, you smile to the people. And I think you change the world a little bit. Um. From Nikki, question, don't you find that wearing slippers make the wearer feel frumpy? If I'm busy at home, I wear shoes to feel efficient. I mean, you wear what you well, what you want, but um, I always wore, we always wore slippers at home so as not to um, damage floorboards. And also they are, I mean, I can show you uh, my slippers. <laughs> They're like this. Um, and uh, you feel comfortable. They don't have to be, you know, those huge Ugg shoes or those monster shoes, you know, that kind of thing. So you 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 wear what, um, you feel comfortable in it, it's still presentable. So if you want to feel shoes, you feel efficient, continue to wear shoes to feel efficient. Uh, ah, Elsa, house coat is the English word for it. That's right, house coat. Um, Laurie, yes, but no one wears shoes inside. Usually we don't because um, well, dirty, etc. And also we feel more relaxed with slippers on. From Ali Blue, question for women who do not wear jewelry or bling due to religious reason, tips or accessories. Well, what about a scarf, a little bit of lipstick, a little bit of put something in your hair, um, you know, a ring or two, maybe, uh, you know, a watch or a bracelet. Bracelet are not really comfortable, um, may not be most practical. You have a lot of tasks to do the house, um, you know, the housework, cleaning the, the kitchen, the bathroom, do the dishes. Uh, with bracelet, I find that 
uh, they get in the way. Um, you know, but that kind of thing, a belt, um, a chain, maybe if it's long, put it inside so it doesn't, you know, um, you know, that kind of thing. Or maybe, let you know, uh, tie a thin, um, a thin scarf around your neck, for instance. I hope that's helpful for you, Ali Blue. Please let us know. <clears throat> From Elizabeth, I'm finding, I'm finding it's worth buying good quality casual wear. In the past, I've only had either dressy clothes or workout wear. I'm trying to beat that part of my wardrobe. Yes, that's so good, Elizabeth. I'm so happy to hear. And also for the ladies who used to work and now are like in an office and now they are uh, retired. If you were working somewhere where you had to wear a uniform, now you find, oh, you've only got casual clothes maybe. Um, or if you used to wear, to live in the corporate world, you may have many suits left. For those who have suits left, here you are. <clears throat> You know, you may have as an example of a suit, so you may have some suits like that, and you may think, oh, I can't wear that anymore, you know, but if they still fit you, if they still look good on you, wear those just, <laughs> wear, the, wear the trousers, uh, wear just the trousers at home with a shirt, uh, with a sweater, that kind of thing, or the jacket, you know, you're wearing something like that, I would wear this blazer on top to do some errands. Or now and again, put that on with the just um, a white T-shirt. Uh, I don't know. Um, again, it could be a, a grey sweater or a purple or a pink one, just to jazz it up a little. Um, or something feminine and heels or something to make it different. And you can still wear that. You know, it's a question of, I always encourage my ladies, my friendship ladies uh, and my students, for instance, my student of the Friendship Academy, have fun in your wardrobe, walk around with your things, have a look. You know, why are those corporate suits still in there? Can I wear them again? Uh, why not? You may be fed up, but you may be fed up, not because of the, not of the suit itself, but you may be fed up of, you know, of wearing the suit the same way. So it's time to maybe try new things, wear them separately, wear them with sneakers, wear them with a, just a T-shirt, or wear them with, you know, over a casual outfit of a jeans. And that's more outfit. Please let me know if that's helpful. They give you some new ideas. Don't, um, don't be shy about trying new things. Push the envelope a little bit more. Hmm? Um, where are my things are running up okay Uh, from Catalina, uh, maybe wearing flat shoes like ballerinas, ballet flats at home. Yes, yes, in the spring or summer, or even as slippers. Many, many women in France wear the ballet flats as slippers. Um, so again, that's a good, good idea. Um, Robin, I wear a nicer sandal in the house and outside when I'm at home. Not an egg person either, don't like being clunky shoes. Well, exactly. Um, <laughs> from Karen, my precious pop recently chewed up my favorite pair of slippers, still haven't replaced them, but need to. <laughs> Naughty pop. Um, and Anita, I take my off my shoes at the door, keeps the floor clean. Great. And again, you know, always do things for your for your lifestyle. Uh, at home, we have the slippers next to the front door. We remove our shoes. And also removing our shoes. You know, if you've been in those shoes all day long, what you want is uh, just take your shoes off after a day's work and put your slippers on. Um, Gabs, is it better to avoid makeup at home to keep a better skin? Thanks, Marianne. I love you. Well, you don't have to, to put you know, layers and layers of makeup. You don't have to even put foundation. 
Um, maybe just lipstick. Maybe just a touch of mascara. Uh, maybe it's just your eyebrows. Maybe just a little bit of blush up. You know. When I when I talk about makeup, doesn't it just you know it doesn't need to be like you know ten layers of foundation and um, concealers and this and that and this and that. You can tell that I don't know much about makeup um, <laughs> because um, you know whenever I watch uh, a video on makeup, I'm like this, my mouth wide open. How many layers? How many? What they call that? That the Kardashian started. Um, with doing that kind of thing with it. Oh, the shading. I don't know where to start. You can tell that I'm not shading. But um, yes, I mean, again, less is more. Keep it simple, you know? Uh, I hope that's helpful for you, Gabs. From Nancy, nice leggings with a pretty tunic sweater and ballet slippers inside. If I must leave, I had a scarf, riding boots, and my long wool coat. Hey, you go. Um... From Karen, yes, I wear a sandal at home too during warmer weather. Ooh. The, the comments are going up really quickly. Question from Libby, hair and makeup when just staying at home. Again, keep your style simple. Um, I don't know what your hair is like. You know, it could be a ponytail, you could be a chignon, really, you know, put your hair up or... You know, if it's short, just brush it, comb it, leave it simple. Um, if you're used to your long hair like this, keep it long as long as it's not in the way of what you're doing. You know, again, keep things simple. S season with love. That's me. All suits and everywhere. <laughs> Karen, question, opinion on the leggings for outdoing errands showing the bomb. I am not a fan. No, neither am I. Um, I've always talked about the, the leggings, about don't wear them, or at least if you want to wear them, just wear them as if they are tight, because really they don't um, they don't leave anything to the imagination. So um, that's why that's my take on it. Susan, I work from home and still make sure to wear business casual. It changes my attitude. Well, exactly, exactly, and. You know, the casual thing, um, many people think of casual, okay, it's frumpy and no longer work, um, you know, football t-shirts and jock pants, shorts or something like that, but short, what I mean by shorts, like football shorts or something, or, or all day stay in, stay in your attire that you've been for gym or yoga, well, no, you do yoga in your... Uh, yoga pants, that's fine. But once you finish yoga, you have a shower and you get changed. The same with your, your the gym and stuff like that. You don't stay with your gym attire all day long. Uh, you know, I have my horse. Uh, I ride her. When I come back, I no longer, you know, I get changed. I have a shower and I get changed. I don't wear my my riding boots, my, you know, my special riding bra and all my stuff all day long. You got good to have changed i mean it's you know um let me know what you what your take on it but that's that's the take we have you know we have on it uh, in france you know we have the special clothes for uh, special things um for leisure for sports but they are not what we call day wear let me know if that's helpful um so Ways, okay. Okay, from Meg. Uh, so glad I made a live chat. My work allows business casual dress, so I find it easy to buy for work and then wear that around home. They feel frumpy that way. That's perfect. It's perfect. Um, I'm Karen. Well, the same, working from home, you can make an effort. It does make any difference in attitude. Uh, by the way, if you are enjoying this live stream, you can give me uh, give me a like and share also the live stream, the videos, if you like them. Sharing has, you know, uh, hopefully brings new people in that may have not 
uh, seen me before. So thank you very much in advance if you give me a like. Um, okay, what else? What else? What other question do we have? Um, <laughs> Marilena, I am enjoying this, but I must leave. I have to make fresh pasta. So pinion in a minute. All the best for 2024. That's that, again. That's perfect. Pini, you know, you put an apron on for your um, for your cooking. And Marilena is making fresh pasta. Ooh. We should all drop in <laughs> for a taste. <laughs> Um, body culinary. I've been finding some nice pre love jumpsuit that I feel somewhat chic in while the garden buying vintage and pre loved items allowed me to find my staff, my active garden life. Perfect. Um, okay, what is that? Uh, mm -hmm. A question from Glad Burgio. Do you know if Armor Lux ever has sales? Sorry, off topic. Uh, Armor Lux has sale. I don't know if they have sale right now. They had sale before Christmas. Um, but in France, I don't know if you know, but in France, we have sales at you know in set periods. I think it's probably um rules and regulations. So we don't have to say sometimes you have sales like. You know, in Zara in the US or something, and of course, or Arquette, and we don't have it in France yet because we have to follow, um, they have to follow certain things, certain uh, days. And Nikki, I like to wear skirts at home, and that's something else skirts and dresses. I have never seen my mum wear trousers when she was, uh, when she had us, because always, she always wore skirts and, and dresses. From Nancy, wonderful tips. Thank you. Oh, yes, aprons, I must. Um, well, good idea here yeah, from Karen. OMG, I am a huge fan of buying from thrift cheap boutique. That way I can afford nicer things. And it's true. And I like that as also buying uh, what you call second hand. It's not as, as nice called second hand. Second hand as pre loved or. Um, Reloved. I like to think of some items are giving them a second life. That's good. From Joyce, question: What would you suggest to wear for people who stays in country that are humid and hot all year round? I am wearing boxer shorts. Well, I wore. Um, I lived in um, the Yucatan, um, the state of Yucatan in Mexico for two and a half years, and I used to wear dresses. Um, and um, I was fine. So dresses, you know, little straps here and um, above the knee or somewhere below the knee, depends. But, you know, with little um, sand, flat sandals at home, when I go, went out, I had a little hill. So um, I was fine like this. From Shilin, skirts are always great in the summer to wear around home, especially with heat so high in Texas and other places. Yes. Um, from Veronica, when my piano pupils come to the house for lessons, I change out of homey slippers into smarter, lighter weight ballet flats for teaching. Good, that's lovely. Uh, from Susan Fanning, yes, the heat and humidity here in Tennessee in the summer is bad. Shorts and white jeans are the rules. From Nancy, my usual beauty routine, a tad of powder for shine, lipstick and mascara. I have my special home earrings. Lovely. So from Sherry, question, suggestion from very warm summer Florida weather outfit. So I, 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 just, I think I just replied to this question, Sherry. Uh, I just switched to wear dresses, mainly skirts also. Um, very good, Veronica, my sister. Great. So, from Tina, a question Is it okay to wear pants, so trousers, and top from couch to market? Well, again, it depends on what kind of pants, what kind of top. Um, 
you know, what kind of top is it? Is it uh, what kind of pants? It could be distressed jeans. Ooh, I hope not. But uh, always look presentable. Always look presentable and you cannot go wrong. Again, you know, very casual. And this is why I've done it on purpose. It's the most casual outfit you can wear, isn't it? Trousers, sneakers. Um, it could be a simple T-shirt or it could be... Um, a little merino top with short sleeves, or it could be a sleeveless top, a little blouse. Why does it have to be, um, you know, why does it have to be not nice? I know that, that's something we could talk about one day as a topic. Let me know what you think. But as a topic, why do so many women wear things that are not nice because um, they don't want to wear their nice things because the nice things might get dirty, the nice things were expensive, so we keep them for a better day, and then we look nice once or twice a year instead of looking nice every day. Let me know what you think, but it's time, my lovely ladies, to wear your nice things. Your wardrobe, let's say is this, is filled with nice things. Please wear them. Please. <laughs> uh, Tina, is it okay? Uh, okay, I've read, read that. Yeah, Karen, humidity, linen. Yes, linen breathes. Linen is the best material, best fabric for the heat. From Gabs, thanks for your answer, gorgeous. I will wear my lipstick and avoid foundation and summer shading. <laughs> That's right. Um, Laurie, what are your thoughts and suggestions on hats? Uh, well, I, th I don't think, it, I think it's a bit out of topic because it's at home. Uh, but wear hats when you need to, to protect your head from the sun or the cold. That is, um, yeah, so must. From Diane, what do you think of side strap athleisure trousers? I hear athleisure and, ah, no, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> that can be worn very casually with a T-shirt or with a blazer for a nice professional look. I don't think that anything that's called athleisure is a nice professional look. Sorry to be blunt. I think probably in France we are a little bit more blunt, especially for style. Uh, but I don't think athleisure, you know, and that side strap, like that means Adidas, um, that can be worn very casually with a t shirt, is nice. It's a nice professional look. Why not wear a pair, another pair of trousers? You know, but athleisure, anything that's called athleisure to me is I don't know where you can wear that. <laughs> At the gym. I hope that's helpful with that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um From Catherine, Katrina, excuse me. Hi, Marianne, do you think we should use another perfume fragrance at home as opposed to the one we usually use when leaving the house? Thank you very much. Katerina, I, I, it's funny with fragrance. That's a very personal thing. There are not many things, you know, in terms of style that are as personal as fragrance. But at home, it's nice to wear something maybe light because you may be with um, among young children or children who maybe don't like something too strong or because you're at home, you don't need something strong as opposed to if you go outside in the air, you know, um, your strong perfume quickly um, has evaporated and becomes not as strong or maybe um, it's an expensive perfume that you want to wear only to go out or something like that. So to me, wear what you want in perfume. Uh, what, you, what is your favorite perfume? What do you like to wear? If you have strong perfume, maybe don't spritz as much as if you were going outside in the wind or, you know, in the air. But also bearing in mind that your perfume should not be overpowering for other people. Also with animals. I'm talking about animals because I have animals. I mean, animals. I don't have a zoo, but I've got, I mean, we've got 
two chickens, two dogs, two cats, and um, one horse, but three all together because we have a friend who have their two horses with us. Uh, animals have got, you know, have got a strong, strength, a strong sense of smell. And um, I don't put um, perfume on when I'm, for instance, you know, with my horses, with the horses, or too close to the dogs or the cats, because they can smell, you know, really strong. And I don't think they will appreciate that. But it's just just me. But um, it, it's very personal, the, the perfume. So it depends on what you wear, etc. So I hope that is helpful, but it's a little bit... Um, Personal that question to to answer. Mabel, what about a funky hairstyle to make one look chic at home? I can't really advise you on funky hairstyle. Have you seen my hair? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I can't do anything funky with my hair, um, and especially this year, I've lost so much hair because of my I lost my parents uh, six months apart, and I um, as you can a father who had. Um, a big um, tumor, had cancer, so I lost a lot of hair through the stress and everything. So my hair is very fine and it's not really funky. Um, I always look and admire ladies who have this thick hair and I thought, oh, I wish I had really thick hair like that. But my hair's never been thick anyway. Uh, but funky, I don't know about funky, do what you like. What is um, funky for you, what is practical also, it depends on what you do in the home, but also what is flattering for you. Yeah, If you had a big bun in front of your forehead, maybe it's not too flattering. Uh, <laughs> but um, wear something that is nice and makes you feel nice. Um, from Rona, I loved your book, The Tidy Closet. Thank you very much. Um, it's behind me there, that, that pink one. Tidy Closet. It's a lovely book. <laughs> Loved your book. The Tidy Closet this has made selecting outfits so much easier. Thank you very much, Rona. From Marlene, I live in a very cold winter climate. Leggings and the dresses or long tops are comfortable and warm. Yes, because in this case, leggings are warm at, as warm as tights, and that is perfect. From Rocio, bonjour desde Mexico. I'm going to visit Paris the following week. What's about the weather? The weather is winter in Paris, so it's not warm, it's not cold. Not too, too cold at the moment. You may have rain. Um, we've had a lot of rain lately. It may be at the moment. It's, it's quite warm, actually. It's quite mild, between 8 and 10 degrees centigrade. Um, from Monster, Monster, my mother as well, never saw her in trousers. Very simple, chic woman. Wonderful. Um, from Shishoka, wow, you lived in my motherland, Mexico. I hope you liked living there. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Um, so where I am, season with love. I'm going to London, my beloved April, today to start the new year fresh and clean. Lovely. From Caroline Chambers, question, suggestion from online retailers for French style in the US, worried about sizing of Cezanne would be hit and miss. Um, yes, it's the sizing that is difficult. I know because I shop a lot online and when you try a new brand, you don't know the sizing yet. My advice would be to try two sizes, the sizes you are and the sizes you think um, might be better. So you could contact them or you could uh, take your, your measuring. They always have, um, you know, the sizing help page, that kind of thing. Uh, so French Chic Style in US, J. Crew uh, does a lot of French, French Chic Style, but a French Chic Style that is, you know, what you would think, what is French Chic Style? Is something, clothes that are usually simple, um, that are well-made, that are neutral colors, usually, not always, but uh, the simpler, the better usually. 
from Nancy, get rid of the tattered clothing. Just get rid of it all. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, you think like me because I don't remember when, but um, I've mentioned many times the distressed clothing. I do not understand that trend. I don't understand how people could pay good money for um, distressed jeans. It does not matter to me whether it's a trend or not. You wear, you know, a pair of jeans with holes. You cannot call your outfit chic because chic is a French word and the meaning is being well-dressed and having anything called distressed um, that is ripped and etc. is not chic because it's not well-dressed. <laughs> um, from Get Thoma, thank you for this live chat. I always learn so much from you and love this community which are always willing to share tips. It is a very good community, the, the friendship community. Thank you again, everybody. Again, if you're enjoying this live stream, please give me a like and share it to your many, many, many friends. Um, what else have we got again? Uh, from Sishoka, so that's a good point. I will wear my nice things more often. Good. I love hearing that. Ziggy, I think some women buy cheap fast fashion at home due to cost. Not fan of this. Yes, there are some pricing at every point. Um, but you can buy less, but better. That's another way to do it. Buy secondhand um, or buy the better collection, the nicer collection of each brand, even if the they are fast fashion or, you know, uh, low priced. From Veronica, I always like to wear pearly rings, whether at home or going out. They go with everything. Bright in the face, contribute to feeling good about your appearance. Perfect. Yes, Veronica, you must have seen me many, many, many times on my video on live stream with my pearl earrings. Today I'm wearing uh, my, um, that's it. I've got, um, Senior moment. I can't remember the the word. My, my blue earrings. Uh, Catholic girl, girl. Yes, I keep too much of my nice clothes locked up in the closet. I'm going to start wearing them more. Yes, you need to do that. You need to do that. Uh, from Rona Stevens' question. I like to wear a scarf to bring a splash of color. Do you have guidance on how to tie them to make more of a statement? Yes, uh, you know. Okay, let's try something. So, I've made a, a number of videos on scarves. Have a look at, you know, on my um, channel and search and put scarf or scarves, and you will see I've done a few of them. So, you will see I, I give you ideas. But let's say you have this, um, make it into a long one. Simple, you can put it up like that, not together like that, but one shorter than the other. How simple is that? Okay, you want less simple, funky, make a little knot. Again, one shorter than the other, put it like that, here you go. Um, put that at the front like this, turn that around there. Okay, bearing in mind that my screen is the mirror image. So it's not always oh, easy. Okay, again, one always shorter than the other. It looks a little bit better. And you know, a little knot like this, turn it to the side and voila. Nothing, nothing complicated. Um, that's just a few things. You know, if you leave it like this at a triangle, if you put that at the front and tie it over it like that, Puff again like that. No, oh, no more like this. Another knot, you know that kind of thing. You can do so many things. So try, just try it, and it, I love the effect of a nice silk scarf around the neck. Even if you you can't afford scar, um, silk scarf, you know you have those other um, more affordable scarves, and but just use them. 
I hope that's helpful for you, Rona. Um, Mabel, I love your hair. I do think it's funky. Thank you very much, Mabel. Um, okay, from Michelle. Uh, as of late, I'm finding that the good go-to look that works well is to pair cotton jeans in black, a thick lens end with a black nylon turtleneck, a thick belt, macrame in ivory. Well, that's right. You wear you wear things that you know you think is a go-to look, and you know um, some women have what they call the uniform. So they always have um, the outfit that they're going to wear. For instance, jeans or trousers and a shirt or a pair of trousers and a turtleneck, or trousers and a, and a crew neck or V-neck with um, a T-shirt underneath. You know, they have a kind of a uniform and it works for them. Maybe that's something that, you know, can be helpful for us as well. We've got some lovely comments. Thank you, my lovely ladies. Um, where was I? Yeah, because the comments are going me quick, me quickly. Uh, from this style, Uniqlo does great heat tech clothing. Yes, that keeps you very warm. Many colors, they are so thin. They are thin, so it does not add bulk and keeps you warm. What I like with Uniqlo is, um, and in France, we really love them for their, uh, their basics, what we call basics. Um, wool sweaters, cashmere sweaters, merino wool sweaters, um, jeans, um, T-shirts, um, you know, the tops in cotton, that kind of thing. Also, the tank tops with the bra that is uh, included with it, that kind of thing, um, socks. So these are basics that, that are affordable um, and they have good quality because I've got some of the um, cashmere and it's, it's very good. What else? From Michelle again, comment as well. I have found that if the shoes, ankle boots, and handbag match, one may or will be looked at fashion savvy. Remember, match everything. Well, you can match if you like, because now that the rule about matching or not matching is um, is gone more or less. So either you match, or either you don't match, but you you have to to know what you're doing. Let's say you're wearing only a black outfit. Maybe instead of wearing a black um back shoes and bag you could wear all black in including your shoes and put a pop of color as your in your bag for instance uh, from dd having troubles with brands cheaper qualities lens and qvc for staples any suggestion when we mentioned uniqlo um, Marks and Spencers as well are very good for staples. And they've got a very good collection, Marks and Spencers, this year. Very, very good. Um, from Tina, th thanks um, for answering my question. I love the advice to wear my special clothes now and not waiting for special occasion. My ladies, it is, thank you very much, Tina. It's so great. My ladies, you are special, okay? Your clothes... You make them special, but if wear them often, you deserve it. You are special, my lovely ladies. Every day is special. Okay? Every day is special. There is, life is too short to wear ugly clothes. Life is too short, my lovely ladies, to wear athleisure, to wear jock pants and those you know, horrible clothes, distressed clothes, and everything else that is ugly and does not make you beautiful as you are, okay? Life is too short for that. Way for that. Wear your nice clothes every day. Wear your pearls every day. Say, I'm showing this as it's not pearl. Um, cozy comfy, sick of the leggings. Uh, yes, from Tina again, I can see where that would help me feeling good about myself. Yes. From A. Williams, yes, the simpler the better in quality over quantity. Yes, you got some good ones this time. J. Crew, Banana Republic, Uniqlo, Everlane, Lilis, Goela. From Ali Blue, very good. Again, very good idea there. Leggings are great for under jeans or pants for layering. 
very good when it's cold. Wear a pair of leggings under your trousers to be even warmer. Oh, from Janet. I'm heading to my house in Merida, Mexico in a few weeks with winter. So happy to hear that you love the Yucatan. Yes, and we lived in a house in... Um, uh, oh. Again, a senior moment. Why is it called? I have to ask my husband. I forgot. I had it just here and it's gone. I was going to say Santa Lucia, but no. Uh, from DD plus site brands are harder to find. Yes. Uh, but many brands now do plus size. But you have to be very careful. I've written a book on plus size, um, friendship plus size. You have to be careful because many brands are, let's say you have brand X who have clothing from size 2 or 0 or minus. What is that? Um, two size, I don't know, 20, 28. But it, they may do the same style as for in the upper sizes, and they are for the small sizes. And many times, it does not go the, it does not suit the larger lady because you, they haven't, they have just made the same style as for a smaller size, but in the larger size. But they have not. Made, for instance, um, you know, um, a color a little bit larger or the, the print a little bit larger or something a little bit smaller. I don't know. It just looks wrong. It looks very, very wrong in a lot of ways. So you have to be very careful again. Um. Uh, Ali Blue Plus, I put it closer, harder. Uh, yes, it's true. Oh, I'm missing some comments because everything goes for faster. Uh, where am I? Uh, from Libby, question, let my hair go grey a few years ago and now I feel a bit frumpy. French women go grey. Well, some women go grey and some, some French women go grey and some French women um, like me. I'm 60, but I keep keeping my colour like this for now. Um, if you go gray, you need to have your hair looked after, maybe with a nice gray rinse that makes it look nice and not um, kind of yellowy because there's some gray that go a little bit kind of yellow, um, you know, kind of because your white hair is showing, is showing through and the white hair may go a little bit yellow. So have um, go to your hairdresser every few weeks to have it cut, to have it looking really good and maybe like a gray rinse or something with gray. Um, they do some special, I, I call it rinse, but maybe it's the wrong um, wrong term, but they make your hair look really, really beautiful. There are some women wearing, having gray hair that they look absolutely amazing. Um, so, you know, my advice is to go to your hairdresser um, and, you know, what do, how do they, what do they advise? So it was a very good question. I'm Veronica, in colder weather, I like to wear pashmina or large warm scarf, either draped around the shoulders in a more fitted way, keep drafts out. Very good, yes. Um, I have large scarves myself that I use in the winter all the time. Elizabeth Marianne, do you wear pretty pyjamas every night? Do you think it makes a difference? Anyone else watching, let me know the same. Yes, I have pyjamas. Actually, I did a video a few weeks ago and I was wearing um, navy blue pyjamas in silk. Um, yes, I love pyjamas, I love night dresses, um, short, long, um, I don't like the, the night dresses mid-length, I like them long or short, uh, and pyjamas, um, but when it's too hot, I don't wear pyjamas in bed, uh, sorry, maybe too much information, um, but definitely if I have people, uh, family at home staying with us, yes, I will put my pyjamas on, or if I have them, well, uh, them on and a dressing gown if it's summer no dressing gown just pajamas but yes i always um look presentable um michelle since i gave i have heard it said that the third piece usually a west coat bomber jacket a sensible shawl is essential because it conveys the mood 
Well, yes, I mean, uh, but choose your 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 jacket and everything. You know, the third piece um, always is is essential. I mean, I love jackets myself. Um, I have a few coats, but I have many jackets. And even if you wear a casual uh, outfit, you wear a nice jacket on top, and you, again, you are elevated. Your casual outfit is elevated. Um, Anne Marie, we talked about that in the beginning of the live stream about looking chic while doing housework. We put an apron on, and all you know, we wear something comfortable, but not something like in silk or something too nice that we may mistain or something like that. Um, from this style, your scarf is beautiful, Marianne. Is it one of your Hermes scarf? No, I only have one Hermes scarf. Uh, it's second hand. It's from Vestiaire Collective. I think it's vintage, probably from the 60s. Uh, this one is from Aspinall of London. And it's a beautiful present from a beautiful, lovely friend of mine from Jersey. That's it's beautiful scarf. Aspin of London. Um, from Sean. Hello, Sean. I think I've been chasing Marianne this morning. My timing has been off attending the live streams, I think. Um, scarf tip for short neck. The scarves are too small, too bulky. I look like they are eating me sometimes. Well, choose smaller ones. Um, you have some scarves that are really big. And uh, wear them in a way that is... more of instead of having them around here where that's going to shorten your neck where them longer like this you see so okay so it's not folded properly it's not rolled well properly but wearing like that so it's going to show your neck it's going to be lengthening like this so it's going to uh, lengthen your neck and if you wear v neck lines again that lengthens the neck so I hope that's helpful for you dd um Where am I? Okay. Okay, from Veronica, I have worn neck scarves, but always take them off. Just don't like wearing them. To me, scarves are warm and woolly. Okay, but uh, again, you know, just wear scarves if you like them. Don't wear them if you don't like them. Uh, again, there's so many options for us. Um, you know, you can wear them if you like them. Don't wear them if you don't like them, of course. Wear some jewelry instead or something, if you prefer. From Very Essentials, I love your style and tips. I have a small waist, so small torso, big legs, and bum, and no way can I wear jeans. Um, so you could be an um, a pear shape, though I love... Others wearing them. I don't look good in leggings either. What about dresses? Well, yes, you can wear dresses. Um, wear dresses. You can wear dresses in you know that shape or something that widens your torso, for instance, and something that visually um, um, narrows you, for instance, um, stripes. I mean, out of my head. Um, as dresses. Um, from this style, I love Marks and Spencer. They ship to Canada and on great, great trousers from this brand. They are very good for basic. Very, very, very. From Melanie, yes, not all things sized up look appropriate for design. Exactly. Not, not they don't look appropriate for design and they don't look appropriate for the size that is up for the plus size. Definitely so many, so many times I have seen that. I have seen one design for the size, for small size and exactly the same designs for plus size. And most of the time it does not work. Um, From Heather, I have just started buying some nice items from Vinted, and I noticed the majority of the sellers are from France. I also said some things I don't wear anymore. Yes, Vinted is very big in France, very popular. 
uh, many um, many women love selling clothes and buying them from Vinted. From Janet, question, please open a BNB at Booking for a month. I'm still cooking your pork dish all these years later. Thank you, Janet. Uh, oh, Janet, are you in my Eat Like a French Woman program? Because if you are, uh, we do. I'm having a live stream. I'm doing a live stream next Thursday at 4 p.m. 4, uh, 4 p.m., yes, my time. We're doing, uh, we're having a live stream every month on my program. Um, Melanie, I laid my hair go completely gray when I was in my 50s, and I've had so many compliments on it since then because it looks so much healthier and thicker. Now that I'm not completely abusing it. Very good, Melanie. And that's that's what we we're talking before. It's just, you know, for some women, they look absolutely amazing with their gray hair. But for some, um, it does not work for them. I know that with me, it does not really work yet. Um, but of course, I will go gray at one point. But um, at the moment, I can see with my roots, um, you know, it really washes me out. So I'm not ready to go gray yet. But I'm really happy to hear that for you, it works. Um, fantastic. Ah, Melanie Parker, use purple shampoo and conditioner. Okay, so that might make, make, make a difference. My, it, it probably um, makes your gray hair really uh, strong, uh, strong color-wise, I mean, you know, nice gray. Yes, exactly. Manon. Manon says, I have white hair and I use a blue shampoo regularly to keep the yellow out. It works well. What makes you look older is not the color, but the cut. Yes. Um, but also the color, because for instance, you know, if I wore a white or light, you know, off white or light gray wig, which I have tried once um, for a party, it really washes me out. Um, but it's true that the cut makes a big difference also. Libby, question, where to find that book? Do you mean this one? Okay. Okay, so these are my two of my five books, and I've also got um, style journals. Uh, they are on sale on Amazon under Marianne Lecoeur, and I've also got them on my um, website, marianneleceur.com. But there, all my books and my style journals are for sale on Amazon. All Amazons. So this one is the, the Tidy Closet. Lovely book. Lots of advice. Lots and lots and lots of advice and exercises. Um, I'm Ziggy. I love my lily silk pajamas. Makes me feel luxurious. Yes, the blue, the navy blue lily silk, uh, silk pajamas I wore in that video were from lily silk. Very good. Open sesame. I'm 60 years old. Yes. Growing up, even in the country, no one wore the gym clothes outside the gym. I'm not sure when it changed, but the whole country has gotten sloppy. I, you know, I mentioned that years ago already, right? six years ago or something, and I, and I called it a casualization of style because people were starting to wear, you know, um, athleisure. It was a brand new term then. Uh, but since the, the, the COVID, everybody was at home. I mean, it's just like, I think now we may be seeing some change. I hope so. There's nothing wrong with being well-dressed. I'm just going to have a little drink of water. Um, from Open Sesame, I love your necklace. Where is it from? That's from Ana Luisa. I think this is silver. Um, from Glad Burgio, question Will an armor look top fit a petite frame, petite frame like me? Um, I don't know. You have a look at the sizing. Um, the French sizing is not a big, a big uh, size 
Um, so a small, so if they do small rigs, um, if you have a petit frame, um, you know, you're petite, then maybe try a small, an extra small, or tie un. It depends on which sizing they do. So I hope that's helpful for you. Um, from law, do you still hate rib jeans? Yes, we. Oui. You know, in France, you don't see rib jeans. Women do not wear rib jeans. You can go anywhere, you do not see rib jeans. Um, and if you see some, are they, are they French women? And if you do see some, I'm, some, I will eat my hat. <laughs> um, okay, what do we have? Uh, Ali Blue, love your channel, Marianne, even though I'm in my 30s. You're welcome, Ali Blue. Um, all ages are welcome, but most of my my viewership are, you know, um, over 50, 50 ladies. So we still have young ladies as well, like you. And you're welcome, of course. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Sorry if I jump over your comments. Sometimes they just jump and I don't know if I see them. Uh, ah, from Miss Prescott. Thank you very much. Marianne's channel is really good for all ages. Good style transcends age. Yes. Um, so, Lord, Lord, do you do fasting? No, I don't fast. Um, and actually, teach women on how French women eat which is one of my um, most popular courses, Eat Like a French Woman. If you would like to see that, it's on my website, mariannelecoeur.com. Hello, Nicole, recent new subscriber. Fantastic. Pamela. Um... Thank you for inspiring me to dress better every day. Please let me know is if you are already dressing well at home, casual chic, or if you didn't, are you going to um, after this live stream? A. Williams, ripped jeans, spoil the outfit. Yes, I agree. From Elizabeth Marianne, how do you communicate with your clients? Do you work with them face to face with a Zoom type, type meeting? Yes. Um, I do live stream with my students and also private uh, clients over um, either Zoom or either Facebook um, messaging or other th things if they prefer WhatsApp. So. From this style, uh, all this beautiful, I'm 59, I do not try to look younger, can't believe all these women do Botox, that only makes them look uglier, not younger. Uh, I have not had anything done, as you can tell. <laughs> um, I've had nothing done whatsoever, and I'm 60 this year, so I, I, I think, I'm, I don't think I need Botox, and probably all of you don't need Botox either. Um, when I see some young Ladies doing Botox, you know. Mm. Of course, it's up to the individual. Um, from It's Me, Jenny. I live in the Pacific Northwest of the US. Oh, where is it gone? Ah. Uh, I've lost the comment. Uh, I live in the Pacific Northwest of the US. The emphasis is on outdoor activities. I wear clothing that fits or looks stylish for the area. Always looks stylish, yes. 
Come Ziggy, is it too late to sign up for your course? It's never too late to sign up for my courses. Please, Ziggy, I don't know which course you are mentioning. Um, it's like a French woman, or is it French Academy, or is it other courses and master classes? Because I've got 40 courses and master classes all together, I think. So please go onto my website, Ziggy, uh, on www.marianneleker.com. Um, and have a look there to sign up. If it's the EAT program, it's open all the time, so you can sign up, and the live stream is next week. I would like to see you on board. And we also got um, a Facebook, a private Facebook group. Uh, from Gay Prendergast, yes, we would love more on Casual Chic. Wonderful. Ah, from Susan, I have been dressing better since I found your site months ago. It has made a real difference. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for letting me know, Susan. Um, okay, and lovely question here from Sandy. What's to wear if I'm working with toddlers and be chic? So, first of all, the comfort. But the comfort doesn't mean in jock pants. You can wear a pair of jeans, you can wear even a pair of uh, wool trousers because they're comf very comfortable. Um, or a pair of linen trousers midsummer or off-white trousers, you know, all these off-white jeans. Look at these as an example. These are jeans, off-white. Yes, Marianne, we're going to be full of stains. So if you want full of stains, then a blue of these blue jeans. Um, for the other trousers, they are warm and they don't get stained. Denim is very, very forgiving. And so, um, but you know, try the things that maybe in a dark color or in a fabric that's easily washable. Uh, all those like for those faux fur leather trousers, they look really smart. Uh, and because they're not leather, you can just wipe them clean. Fantastic. Or even if they were full leather, you can just wipe them. Uh, Thank you, Ziggy. Uh, Ziggy, let me know. At all. I'm gonna. I don't know which. Uh, I don't know which um, course you are after. But I'm gonna put the link here to my Eat Like a French Woman course. And also for the FCA. So FCA is in my French Chic Academy, and we're having. The new intake for winter and next week, the first week of our 12 week journey. But don't forget, so I'm putting links here because I'm asked. Um, but don't forget, my ladies, that whenever you are enrolling into my, any of my master classes, any of my courses, my Eat Like a French Woman program or my French Chic Academy, you are in it for life, life of the course. So I've got ladies who've been with me since uh, 2016. Um, you know, some other people give you um, an enrollment for three months, six months, or a year. Me, it's forever. <laughs> so even if you have finished your 12-week journey, you stay with us for the live stream. You have um, access to all the material um, of the of the courses and the program, etc. Even new uh, new material in it, you still have access to that. From Joyce, I made better choice after watching your vid. Great. Bought three pairs of the same boot cut dark colored jeans from HM lately, as it fits my petite and pear shaped body. Fantastic. Dawn, I would love to see your animal feeding outdoor outfit <laughs> winter and summer. Well, at the moment, it's been raining so much, I've been wearing my rainwear. So I've got um, a bright uh, orange jacket with some gray 
so it can be seen you know when it's when the dark the, it's really dark and also the trousers to go with it over my my jeans and i've got my well done so um because it's practical you have to protect yourself from the weather <laughs> um from pearl how about a weather a video with metallics belt shoes sandals bags and outfits to wear with them that's a uh, great idea from Nancy. We need you broadcasted live in billboard size here along the upper Texas Gulf Coast. The attire here is horrid. I'm thankful we have both recently retired and in the process of moving and travel. And it, you know, again, in order to change your, your, you know, your surroundings, you change yourself, you dress better, and maybe by going out, meeting new people, they might want to dress like you. They may want to dress well, and that's that's great to change. The world like that changing one step at a time, one person at a time. Oh, thank you very much, <laughs> Michelle. For the record, it is a joy to listen and as well to learn from you, Marianne, especially because you have a positive attitude without fail and are relaxed. Thank you so much. Um, thank you very much for the hearts. Your channel makes me feel good. This is from Tina. And from this time, yes, we want to look our best, not younger. I feel better in my skin now that I did, than I did 20 years ago. Fantastic. Well, my lovely ladies, thank you very much for being live with me uh, today for an hour and a half almost. So um, we will be doing a live stream. In our next one will be June the 11th, so in a couple of weeks. In a couple of weeks, um, June, I said June, January. <laughs> uh, so in couple of, in two weeks' time, I will be doing a live stream. I don't know the topic yet. So thank you very much for being live with me. I wish you all a fantastic new year, a uh, great 2024. And um, if you still want to enroll in my Friendship Academy for the winter intake, don't forget you have full access uh, lifetime access and um, I just put the link in there and uh, thank you very much for giving me a like and for sharing the video thank you very much and you take care of yourself and stay chic <laughs> au revoir <laughs>